hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl naika welcome to another official fertility update just want to let you guys know where we're at where we stand right now what is the next steps and then just take it from there so let's get started all right so as you guys know um from the last video you guys knew that my beta levels everything finally went down so you're probably like okay so what is she gonna do now when is she gonna do another transfer all that good stuff so um basically before i found out that you know my baby no longer had a heartbeat back in january a week before that my husband actually had a surgery and a procedure done so um the intent of that surgery procedure was you know Future kids, future babies, maybe they could be natural, et cetera. Um, because part of it was, you know, reasons as to why we had to do IVF as well. So um, when it came down to it, you know, it's about four months later since that surgery. So we set them up for, um, you know, like analysis to see if any changes or if the surgery did any um, effects, positive effects that would allow us to like you know try a natural route so we said to, so i said to myself okay if i if it's positive results what i'll do is i'll just try naturally for a couple months if nothing changes if there if nothing happens then i'll just then i'll go back to ivf but if it made no changes then the plan was for me to do like another um retrieval so with another retrieval now, I have three embryos left. Three embryos of the same sex, actually, which I'm not going to disclose. <laughs> but um, I have three embryos of the same sex, so, but, but I'm still young. And I spoke to my doctor, and I just wanted more options. I wanted to be able to pick and decide, you know, which ones I wanted to transfer next. Um, and I didn't mind knowing the sex of the babies. My husband nor I didn't mind. So we wanted options. So I said, you know what? I'm still young. Being that, you know, um, being that, you know, we're doing IVF, let me just do another retrieval and just rack up on whatever embryos and then, you know, take it from there. So the the point and the point of it was actually waiting for these results. So back in May, um, analysis was done. And then in June, we found out that it really um, it made a big it made a difference in some aspects, but overall, um, it would have been the same it's the same similar situation or outcome. So we we do have to end up still sticking to IVF. So um, in that we're sticking to IVF. So we're gonna be doing a retrieval, and the retrieval um, like I said, we do have. I have three embryos left and they're the same sex so i we did one more options so with me wanted to do with us wanted to do retrieval we just wanted to just have a variety and i'm still young like i said you know i'm still young so um another exam that i'm going to be doing guys which you guys are going to be along with me on the journey is um call it endometrial biopsy so with the endometrial biopsy they're just checking my uterus, my my uterus for any inflammation that may cause or lead to any type of miscarriage. It doesn't necessarily change outcomes in in a big aspect based off of studies, but it is um, at least it's a step forward just to check, just to see. It doesn't hurt. You rule everything out. You just want to make sure. Um, I didn't want to do an ERA because um, an ERA is like I said, it's an endometrial receptivity. And my my uterus is very it's receptive, you know. The problem is not the problem is not um, where my endometrium is, re is not receptive. It's receptive, so um, so basically, it's not where I'm discarding the child. So my last pregnancy, I didn't discard the child. Um, my body actually, I was carrying it perfectly. It's just that my child didn't have a heartbeat. Um, did at first but then it didn't after you know so it's just a matter of things you know not progressing with the baby itself not so much my womb in a sense so my uterus was even when i found out that 
um, there was no heartbeat, you know, your body would automatically, um, you know, start to figure it out and start to change and start to shift. Well, no, like I went along four days, still pregnant, still high sim, high hormone symptoms, everything before my surgery, everything before my surgery. So it's not a matter of, you know, like I said, it being receptive or not. I'm receptive, you know, so, but yeah, I definitely did wanted to do another retrieval and I'm going to be doing the endometrial biopsy just to check for information. If I do, I take antibiotics for two weeks. So be prepared for those two things. The good news is that I can do both in the same cycle. I can do both in the same cycle. So I can do my retrieval and I can do the endometrial biopsy in the same cycle. So because it doesn't interfere with... Um, it doesn't interfere with um, the ovaries at all, right? So I just have to get some blood work done and then do the biopsy, right? So, and he did mention that I'm going to be doing the biopsy before ovulation. So basically when my period comes, right after my period ends, boom, I go in, get some blood work done and then go get the biopsy done. And he did say it's going to hurt for 10 seconds. Not looking forward to that part, but I'm I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out. I'm gonna I'm tough it out, tough it out, guys. But that's gonna be another video that I'm gonna be going through with you guys, so you guys can see what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to record in the room because you know how strict they are. But I will definitely be keeping you guys in the loop. I don't, they don't need the OR, um, to do that procedure. I can actually do it in the actual clinic itself. So that's the next step. That's the plan. And then yeah, the retrieval, they will let me know if I'm able to do it within my next cycle. Because right now the OR is closed. And based on when my next period comes, they have decided that um, it will be, depends because there's like a waiting list kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, and then we'll go from there. My husband and I already signed all the paperwork for the retrieval itself. So it's just really next hearing from billing more money we'll see how much it's gonna cost me but i'd rather get all of my embryos out that i can get out now since this is our only route you know i mean like i said miracles do happen god has the final say and then you know that's about it but i mean we're gonna take it as a grain of salt and we just gonna keep the faith and we're gonna keep it you know keep pushing keep pushing so i definitely wanted to update you guys on that um and then I'm still on my bromocryptine. I still have to continue to take it. But let me tell y'all, I asked my doctor because I was signed up for a wine tour. I guess I did. I, went, <laughs> I signed up for a wine tour. And the wine tour, uh, I paid a lot of money for this wine tour. And I wanted to go. And I was like, I'm not going to pay all this money for this wine tour. And this was before I started my medication. And... I'm not going to get to enjoy no wine taste and nothing because I can't mix the medication with alcohol. Like, it's one of those medications you cannot mix. So, I, t I even my doctor said, listen, I'm going on this wine tour. Can I not take the medication? Like, you know, like, what should I do? He said, well, stop taking it for a couple of days before and then enjoy your wine tour. He's like, you're not doing anything right now. But at the moment, you're not doing any transfers or nothing right now. So, you can take a little break. I was like, all right, no problem. So, I, I went. I stopped it five days before just to be super precautious stopped it and then i enjoyed my wine tour and then i started it like about three days later just to make sure the alcohol was out my system and i enjoyed my wine tour i sure did i sure did <laughs> and i'm gonna show you guys i got me like three bottles to come home with like if i can drink <laughs> like if i can drink it right got me three bottles i mean i pop one that same night because I was like, listen, I'm about to start back on this medication soon. Let me make sure I really drink, get my drink up on, right? Mm -hmm. so I got the two of the bottles there sitting pretty. I'm going to leave it there because when you go to vineyards, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When you go to vineyards, you cannot. Um, you really, the, the vineyards usually have their own special wine. So you can't really get the wine from anywhere else, you know? So that's why I had to get me some bottles. <laughs> I sound crazy. But anyway, girls gotta have fun, right? Right. But yeah, but I'm good. I'm behaving. I'm behaving. Um, taking it like I said, taking it one day at a time, staying positive. You guys know what my next steps are. You guys know what videos to expect coming up. Definitely just me going through the next steps of the stages of the process and you know, waiting for my period to come and waiting for 
um, waiting to do that biopsy and going from there. I'm expecting insurance to reach out so that way I can get the billing and the money out of the way and then go from there. I did promise you guys from last video that I was going to show you what um, the company Pink Stork sent me because I reached out to them and let them know that I really loved um, the tea the teas that they sent, the, with the teas and in the lozenges, the fertility lozenges and the tea. So they end up sending me, you know, like a nice little care box. Um, I can't find the journal that they sent me in the box, but I can show you, they sent me two products in the box and then a really nice journal. And now I can't find the journal because I've already used the journal. And I put it somewhere and I can't figure out where I put it. But this is what the box look like. Let's just show you guys. And it said hello Naika on it. And it's so nice. It's a hello Naika on the box. This is how it was shipped to me. And then it was, I was like, oh my God, this is so nice. Pink Stork. Um, I was a very um expected surprise. They did tell me expect something in the mail, but I didn't know like what it was gonna be, right? And then they sent me two other products. One was like fertility support right for reproductive health and then the other one was um another fertility reproductive health gummies so um as you guys can see i don't eat out half of this thing already i don't do both i do one or the other because you just want to make sure um i don't want to overload my body with stuff especially because i'm already taking the bromocryptine and I'm taking my prenatal vitamins um so i just pop my gummies and i'm actually due to be popping one right now so I was like, you're supposed to take like three gummies a day or something like that. So, and they like strawberry. And it's like a strawberry flavor and you're supposed to take three a day. So I take them. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to do the other, um, the other bottle, which is more like a capsule with like, you know, with the, like all the stuff inside the capsule, you know how that goes, right? Right. I started taking that one, but that one. When I, when, I, when I went to use the bathroom, when I went to pee, it was the same color as the damn, um, the damn, um, fertility thing. I was like, damn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, drink, just got to drink lots of water. All right. So, yeah, guys. So, that's the next steps. Keeping you guys updated and informed where your girl is at, how your girl is doing, what is my next steps. And then after retrieval, I do plan to do a transfer. But stay tuned for that. Not sure when. Um... But you guys will know, keep you guys updated, keep you guys informed on how things are going, where we're at, how, you know, how we're doing, taking it one day at a time, one day at a time. So expect to see more videos, more is coming, more is coming. Your girl is not at a halt. She ain't giving up. She ain't stopping now. And as you know, like I said, just can't give up when you come too far from where you started. Right. Like I said, the road sometimes is not going to be easy. But you just know that with faith, you didn't come this far to be left on the wayside. You know what I'm saying? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Our time is coming, ladies. Our time is coming. If you're in the same position I am, our time is coming. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. This journey is rough. Keeping it real, this journey is rough. It's hard. And you guys saw my loss video. That loss was harder than anything else. But I took my time to grieve. I took my time to heal. I'm, t I'm ready to bounce back up and keep it going. I'm ready to bounce back up and keep it going. All right. So thank you guys always for tuning in, for supporting your girl, for always standing by my side and going on, going through this journey with me. I mean, it's long. It's, you know, it, it could be, it could be a lot, but I appreciate you ladies. You ladies know that you can reach out to me anytime. We can chat, talk, laugh. I've met a few friends already. I'm welcome more. <laughs> right. So love you ladies. Uh, well, everybody who follows me, anybody, right? You guys are the best, right? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So that way you get notified anytime I post another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Love you, girl.